Hey guys, Josh from SoccerReviewsForYou.com, bringing you my review plus on feet video of the Nike Magista Obra in the new Silverstorm colorway. Now inside the box, they do include a string bag to go along with the shoes themselves. The string bag is wolf gray in color with gray strings. You're gonna find a blue Nike swoosh on one side and your blue Nike football branding on the other. Other than that, all you're gonna find inside the box, as you guys can see, are the shoes themselves. So we'll get these guys out of the box really quickly and we'll take a closer look at this very interesting colorway of the Nike Magista Obra as part of the Silver Storm Pack. So in today's video, we are of course gonna be taking a detailed closer look at the colorway, talking about all the tech specs, performance characteristics, and of course how these things fit and feel on feet. So if you're interested in learning more about this particular colorway of the Magista Obra, please stick around, watch the entire video. And if you guys are interested in a pair for yourself, be sure to check out the review page on my website. It'll be the very first link down below in the description of this video. And on that page, you will find Buy It Now links with exclusive SR4U coupon codes where you will be able to pick these guys up below their normal $275 retail price. So again, if you're interested in a pair, first link down below in the description, go ahead and check it out. And with that being said, let's get right into the review. To start things off, let's take a closer look at the colorway. Now this being part of the Silver Storm Pack obviously features a wolf gray base. What makes this model different from all the other shoes in the pack is that you actually get to see exposed wolf gray fly knit across the entire upper, not just in the collar like you'll find on the Superfly and of course the Phantom 2. So you do have a wolf gray base for the entire Flyknit construction um, with the black fly knit kind of in between filling in the gaps here on the pattern and then a clear Nike skin overlay across the majority of the upper and then a solid wolf gray Nike skin overlay going across the kind of outside edges of the shoe where the sole meets the upper which looks really really cool. I'm a big fan of the combination of the gray and the black across the entire upper. You're going to find that the laces, the middle of the shoe as well as the uh, elasticated dynamic fit collar made from fly knit all features kind of like a gray and white and black color combination with a mid layer of fly knit being solid black in color. So when it does stretch out a little bit, you can actually see the black in the mid layer, the black rim around the outside um, edge, the top part of the collar, your Magista branding in black across the back as well. And then of course the main accent color for the Magista in the Silver Storm pack is this turquoise blue color that is definitely more of a turquoise as opposed to a blue. Just to give you guys an idea of what I'm talking about, here is a more traditional royal blue. Here is the turquoise blue found on the Magista Obra or the Magista Silver Storm Pack colorways. Very, very significant difference. So definitely more of a green as opposed to a blue, I would say in person. So you have that on both the lateral and medial Nike swoosh with the black outline. And then of course the entire sole plate as well as the studs themselves have that same uh, turquoise blue color as well. That looks really, really good and accents extremely well with the black and wolf gray across the entire upper. Honestly, I'm a big fan of this colorway. Uh, up until now, I would say my favorite colors of the Magista Obra have been the black based color schemes, the Academy pack, the Stealth pack, um, the launch one with the Volt black and Hyper Punch color. Uh, but if I were to pick one that wasn't black, it would definitely be these. I really like the wolf gray base. Extremely unique, especially when you get to see the entire fly knit construction of the the shoe. So let me know your thoughts on this colorway down below in the comment section. Do you like how these look? Why or why not? And with that being said, let's move on to the tech specs so we can learn a little bit more about the overall performance. Next, let's talk about tech specs and the overall performance of the Magista Obra. Now, of course, if you guys want as many details as possible, I would strongly recommend checking out the detailed written review on my website. That'll be the very first link down below in the description of this video. And you can also check out my play test and traction test video of the Magista Obra if you're interested in seeing these things in action. I'll leave annotations to those videos on screen. So again, go ahead and check out those extra sources of information if you are at all interested. For the sake of this video though, we'll go over the basic tech specs that you should know if you are planning on picking up a pair of Obras for yourself. So obviously, one of the main reasons why you'd buy these is for the Flyknit construction of the upper and the entire upper is made from Flyknit. The area here that is black and gray is going to be the dense section of the Flyknit upper. It's going to have no extra stretch to it, but it's still going to maintain a very nice level of softness and flexibility, giving this shoe for the most part 
a more of a sock like sensation. I would say more so than the Superfly 4, mainly because it's a little bit thicker, it's more dense, and you do have a more padded lining material on the inside of the shoe to go along with the more dense fly knit structuring. Uh, because of this structure, it does have some texture to the surface. It's not completely flat, which is kind of difficult to see on camera, but it's very noticeable when you actually hold the shoe in your hand and run your fingers across the top. It of course does have the Nike skin layer that provides some extra grip on the ball, but nothing too significant. And then of course, the other thing you have to note regarding the upper are the Brio cables that run from the base of the sole into the lacing system. It's kind of in the actual pattern itself, so it's a little bit more difficult to see than again in comparison to the Superfly 4, where it's very, very evident that it's there. But again, when you slide your foot inside the shoe, it fits very comfortably, it's very soft, and when you pull the laces tight, it pulls on those Brio cables that essentially make this entire structure on both the lateral and medial side of the upper completely one piece, and it just locks your foot in place really, really nicely, making the Obra one of the most responsive shoes on the market, and just a very, very impressive performance overall. The upper is also finished off with ACC all conditions control which only adds to the amount of grip that you get on the ball in wet weather playing condition. And speaking of playing in wet weather with the Flyknit mid cut models a lot of people would expect because this collar is completely exposed knitted material that it would absorb water very quickly and just let water into the shoe pretty easily. That's not the case at all because this is so dense and because of the material that they've used here the outside layer might actually get a little bit wet um, but your, the inside of the shoe will remain completely dry and because it's cut above your ankle there's really nowhere for water to seep in completely one piece across the top of the shoe as well so like I said the outside of the shoe will be wet but the inside will be completely dry so as far as water resistance is concerned the mid-cut models from Nike um, are some of the more water resistant shoes that money can buy at the moment. Laces run uh, slightly to the medial side of the shoe as you guys can see no tongue because it is an elasticated fly knit. Um, the collar of course is mid-cut Cut. It's their dynamic fit collar. It's an elasticated fly knit material. A lot of people think that this is some kind of an ankle support or something like that. That's not actually the case. This is there simply to provide a certain look and a certain feel. It gives the shoe somewhat of a seamless sensation where it feels like it flows from your leg onto your foot as opposed to being something that is strapped directly to your foot if that makes any sense. So no real performance benefits to the mid-cut collar found on any of the Flyknit Nike models. Um, of course, the uh, outsole does feature an internal heel counter that is one piece to the rest of the shoe. Um, you are gonna find that the sole plate is made from a stiffer material as opposed to just being a more standard TPU plastic. It takes a little bit of getting used to, but once you wear them for a couple hours, it's something that does break in quite nicely and doesn't feel too stiff at all. And then of course, you do have the Magista stud pattern that is Kind of what you're going to get from the Tiempo line, just with conical studs in the heel as opposed to bladed studs. Overall, you get good traction when pushing off, you get good bite overall, and because they're conical in shape, you still get plenty of freedom to twist and pivot when your foot is planted. So nothing too fancy as far as stud patterns go, but very reliable and works extremely well on firm natural grass playing surfaces. The last thing to mention is the insole. Fully removable, I have it right here. Mesh liner on top, perforations throughout, and it's just a single layer of this yellow foam. Nothing too fancy, but it does get the job done. So that's pretty much it as far as the performance aspects of the Magista Obra that you should know about. Um, again, if you guys do want more details, check out those extra sources of information, mainly the written review on my website, first link down below in the description. And with that being said, let's move on to a quick weigh-in so we can see how lightweight these guys are. In terms of weight, while the Magista Obra looks a lot more substantial in comparison to the Super fly for it's actually very similar to that shoe when you're talking about weight so i'm going to weigh this pair for you today in real time keep in mind this is a brand new pair in a size 9.5 us we're going to throw it on the scale and you can see that it weighs in at 7.4 ounces which is very lightweight the equivalent of 210 grams so if you're looking for a shoe that's going to feel very comfortable on your feet kind of a sock like sensation but at the same time it's also going to be very lightweight and extremely responsive then the magista obra definitely has what you're looking for all right so here is a look at the silver storm magista obras on feet on my left foot i have the stock gray laces that come with the shoes and on my right foot i have a pair of light blue premium dot sr4u replacement laces if you're interested in a pair of replacement laces for yourself check out the website www.sr4ulaces.com that website will be linked in the description of this video now in terms of how these things fit and feel on feet if you haven't worn a mid-cut fly knit shoe from nike before they will feel a little bit strange at first not necessarily super comfortable from right out of the box a lot of people complain about pressure in the heel area and that's just because they fit a little bit differently than a standard traditional cut soccer shoe would it's technically a low cut shoe but because of the one piece design the mid cut design 
there is less emphasis on structure to the heel, which um, in turn ends up making for a slightly stiffer sensation when you put these on for the first time. It's really, really important that when you do buy these, you get them to fit you properly. If there's a lot of extra space, you're gonna run into issues with heel slippage. And it's also very important that you tie the laces nice and tight so your heel's not moving around. If you do all of that and you take the break-in process very, very slowly, you shouldn't have any issues with blistering or just general discomfort. Um, once you do get past that break-in period though, they are very, very comfortable shoes and they really do provide that sock-like sensation on your foot. Uh, the main portion of the upper here um, is soft, it's flexible, it's got that padded inner liner as well. And it's just a very, very comfortable shoe overall because of the mid-cut design and the collar. It has a nice seamless sensation where it feels like the shoe flows from your leg onto your foot with really no major transition point. It's also nice that the shoe is completely seamless so there's no overlapping materials. As far as the width of the shoe is concerned, it's gonna be suitable for most foot types if you have really, really wide feet. Probably not the best option for you, especially considering that this material is not going to stretch whatsoever. The way it fits from right out of the box is pretty much the way it's gonna fit for its entire lifespan. And as far as sizing is concerned, uh, they run about a half size small, the Magista line. So instead of wearing my usual size nine US, I bumped it up to a 9.5 and the fit and the length is absolutely perfect. So if you are looking to order a pair of these for yourself, I would strongly recommend going half a size up in order to achieve the best possible fit. All right, guys, sit for my review of the Silverstorm Nike Magista Obra. Again, if you guys do want more detailed information on the overall fit, feel, and performance, I would strongly recommend checking out the written review on my website. That'll be the very first link down below in the description of this video. Also on that page, you will find Buy It Now links with exclusive SR4U coupon code where you will be able to pick these guys up below their normal $275 retail price. If you guys have any questions at all regarding the Magista Obra, feel free to ask them down below in the comment section. I definitely will get an answer out to you. If you enjoyed today's video, found it helpful and informative, be sure to support with a like. Subscribe if you haven't already for daily videos on all the latest and greatest soccer gear. You can find all my social media information down below in the description as well. And other than that, guys, hope you enjoyed today's video. And as always, thanks for watching.